Thank you. Gotcha. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Senator. My name is Michaela Wilson. I'm here on behalf of Meredith Corporation, as Jim said, with my colleague Tiffany Brendelin. At Meredith, I'm a revenue operations analyst and co-chair of the LGBTQ plus employee resource group. Tiffany is assistant manager in audience targeting and the Asian American ERG co-chair. We are here to speak against Senate file 436 on behalf of Meredith for our nearly 1,000 employees in Iowa and approximately 5,000 employees nationwide. We all agree that freedom of religion is important and we want that to be protected. However, we feel this is the wrong implementation of that. Freedom of religion is already protected by the First Amendment and this proposed law is unnecessarily extremely broad and ripe for abuse. Passage of this law would give people or businesses an excuse to discriminate against certain groups. For example, a healthcare provider could refuse to treat an unmarried pregnant woman. A landlord could refuse to rent an apartment to an unmarried couple, or an employer could refuse to allow medical leave for a gay or lesbian employee to take care of a seriously ill spouse. These are all examples of basic human rights violations and not in line with our values or our corporate culture. We are also concerned that passage of a bill that promotes intolerance would limit our ability to attract the talent we need for our high quality and desirable jobs. To draw quality workers that all of Iowa's businesses need, we need to be known as a progressive state that celebrates and embraces all people. Meredith's average salary of a full-time employee in Iowa is nearly 90,000 and our annual payroll is more than 70 million. As this indicates, we provide high paying quality jobs and benefits and are proud to be an exemplary community citizen. We have a very robust diversity, equity and inclusion program and we are proud of our many programs that celebrate all of our employees, no matter their race, culture, background, gender identity or sexual preference. Examples include seven employee resource groups that are conduits of workplace culture by educating Meredith staff on the value of diversity and celebrating customs, character characteristics and the traditions of various employee communities. Our diversity, equity and inclusion director with the help of the DEI Council, which brings together senior leadership and employees, drive programs to increase the diversity of our staff by recruiting and retaining diverse employees. Our DEI staff works with our content creators in our national and local media groups to increase representation and ensure the individuals in our content mirror the makeup of our increasingly diverse society. We have always been proud of our Midwest roots and we staunchly defend our home state when critics tell us we should move our headquarters to New York or LA where most of our advertisers are based. We love that our editors and creative teams live the lives of our readers, but that means we must live the lives of all of our readers, even those who are LGBTQ plus or may practice a different religion, but still deserve to live without discriminatory discrimination of any form. Passing this bill would chip away at our Iowa pride and we don't want to be put in a position of explaining to current employees, job candidates, customers, and vendors why we are based in a state that allows the type of discriminatory behavior permitted in this bill. We ask that you please do not pass Senate File 436. Thank you again for your time.